We are going to cover the cost and features of mechanical estimating software. If you plan to bid on commercial plan and spec projects, then some form of mechanical estimating software will make your job easier and more efficient. It'll save you money and on the time it takes to put together an estimate. We'll discuss some of the features and cost of the top three HVAC and plumbing estimating software companies. Software pricing. Construction estimating software ranges in price, which usually correspond to the features and the popularity of the program. The latest trend in software is the subscription model, where you pay an annual fee to use the license. The fee would include technical support, but any other options would be an additional charge, like training. The more licenses you buy, the better the discount. Number one, software licensing fee. The first cost is the cost of a software license for each trade, such as a separate fee for sheet metal and another cost for a plumbing piping combination license. Additional licenses after the first one should be at a reduced cost. The combination plumbing HVAC piping is a single license and is sometimes slightly higher than the sheet metal license. The fee covers the right to use the software according to the terms of the license. Costs to purchase a single license range from a few thousand to upwards of $7,000 for a combo license that includes piping, plumbing, and sheet metal. And for an annual subscription, the cost ranges from $1,900 to $3,000 per year. There are some that provide a monthly lease agreement. Number two, labor database fee. Most construction estimating programs use industry standard labor units published by MCAA, Mechanical Contractors Association of America, PHCC, Plumbing, Heating and Cooling Contractors Association, or SMACNA, Sheet Metal and Air Conditioning Contractors National Association. The database will give you unit labor values for each item and the total labor required for the project based on their published assumptions. Remember that if you are a member of one of these organizations, then there might be no cost for the labor units. And if you're not a member, make sure to verify whether the price you are paying for the software includes these labor databases as they are considered proprietary information available by license only. If you plan on using your labor units, then this may not be an issue, but it is easier to start with one of these organizations' database as they contain thousands of labor units based on industry surveys. The labor databases may cost you in the range of $200 to $900 for all three mechanical trades. Number three, material pricing database, pricing service fee. For piping and plumbing estimating, you'll need to pay an annual reoccurring fee for a pricing service like Harrison Publishing, Trade Service Tracer, or Alpricer Canada, which provides list prices of most major manufacturers of pipe, valves, and fittings. Trade Service and Alpricer are owned by Trimble, the owner of the leading estimating software. Trimble is a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ with a market cap of over $14 billion. Most programs sold in Northern America come with a pricing update service and contain over 70,000 prices for pipe valves and fittings. Whether it's the euro, yen, or dollar, the cost of commodities is constantly changing and you need to have a pricing method to stay current. And there is no easier method than a price service company. You will be notified when the next price update is available and you'll download it automatically from the internet. This fee varies by vendor but expect a range of $300 to $1200 per year. You'll need to put your discount multipliers for each manufacturer into the program so that you get net prices for your HVAC piping and plumbing materials as the material database will be based on list prices. There is the availability with Harrison to download the manufacturer's price list directly from the software. For sheet metal, 
you'll most likely need to manually enter the purchase price for round and rectangular ducts and fittings. If you fabricate your own duct work, then the database from SMACNA will have the fabrication labor units. Number four, software training fee. Be sure to find out how much training will cost as this varies greatly from vendor to vendor. Some software providers will come to your facility or invite you to their training facility. You must analyze whether it is more feasible to travel your estimators to their facility or pay for them to come to your office to do the training. The best option is to have training done remotely using the internet as this saves on time and travel cost. If you have training at your office, you'll need to pay for the trainer's travel cost, which usually includes flight, hotel, car rental, and a daily food allowance. But if the training is in your office, you can usually have as many of your employees attend without any additional fees. Be sure to find out the cost per person and per trade for those that do multiple trades. Some vendors provide unlimited training, so be sure to inquire about this very important aspect of your purchase. The fees for training depend a lot on which training method that you implement. For web-based training, expect to pay up to $1,000 per estimator. For training in their facility, you should expect a range of $1,000 to $2,500 per estimator. And for training at your facility, expect to pay in a range of $3,000 to $7,000 depending on how many days of training are required, plus the trainer's travel expenses. Number five, technical support and maintenance fees. Most construction estimating software vendors have some form of technical support for their program and it is usually included in your annual subscription or maintenance fee. This fee is for any upgrades that might occur during the year and for technical support that you may require. If you choose not to pay for the annual maintenance and support fee, then check to see if they have an hourly rate for when you might need support. This is an annual reoccurring expense that is based on the quantity of license that you purchase. Also check to see if the first year is included in your software cost. Either way, you want to know what your cost will be for each year after the first. If you buy a subscription, then support and upgrades are usually included. From our experience, this fee varies greatly by vendor and is based on how many licenses you initially purchase and can range from 5% to 15% of the license fee. The fee is more towards the lower end of the range the more licenses you own, hence the more negotiating power you have. Make sure to renegotiate this fee if your company grows and you add more licenses. Features. Now we'll cover some of the main features you should know about and the questions you should ask for when selecting an estimating program. Number one, CAD-BIM integration. One of the biggest benefits for those who have a detailing department is the integration with various CAD programs and shop fabrication equipment. This allows you to share one database which guarantees consistency from estimating to detailing to fabrication. This makes for a huge labor savings because when the detailing department finishes laying out the project, the CAD software program can export a file that can be imported into the construction estimating software program, which will execute an estimate without any time spent doing a takeoff. Ask if this feature is available with the construction estimating software and which CAD BIM programs is compatible with. Number two, assemblies. One of the great time-saving benefits of estimating software is its ability to provide equipment connections of various sizes quickly and with updated pricing. An assembly is a, all the pipe, valves, and fittings around a piece of equipment or fixture. For example, a chiller or pump often requires the same pipe, valves, and fittings whenever one is installed. So why repeat taking off the same bill of materials when assembly in the construction estimating software can retain all those parts for you. All you do is ask for a chiller, pump or coil connection of a particular size and the software calculates the bill of materials with the latest up-to-date pricing and includes all the material cost and labor for those parts. The same for a typical air distribution diffuser connection as shown here. 
on a large project, you could have hundreds of these connections. By having an assembly built, you'll save time not having to re-enter the same lines repeatedly. The same applies to plumbing fixtures. Ask your vendor how many pre-built assemblies come with the program. You can also build your own or modify the existing assemblies to the way you trim equipment or fixtures. Number three, estimating reports and spreadsheets. The estimating software can run many different reports from material and labor summaries to the isolation of separate zones or alternates for review. The important thing is that if you have a special way of reviewing material labor summaries and breakdowns, you'll need the program to issue reports in the format you need for analysis. It's important to make sure that the software can give you reports the way you desire. You can pay to have the estimating software vendors make custom reports for you the way your company likes to see them if the reports don't give you what you want. Most of the estimating software programs also come with an estimating spreadsheet for the summation of the information coming from the database from within the software and for which you will add additional pricing to comprise a total bid. To the spreadsheet, you will add subcontractor pricing, equipment, and specialty items not included in your estimating software. The estimating software might also export data that you would then import into another program like Excel. Ask about the versatility of the reporting capabilities. Some of the estimating programs can export the information from the estimating software program directly into your company's template proposal application like MS Word. Along with project information, there's also the insertion of charts and estimating data. Number four, sheet metal construction standards. Contained in the sheet metal estimating program should be construction standards for rectangular, round, and oval duct based on SMACNA construction standards. In addition to standard galvanized duct and fittings, there will be the option to use other materials like stainless steel, black iron, and aluminum. Part of your implementation time will be spent setting up these construction standards according to the way you fabricate ductwork. The system should at least come set up with static pressure classes from minus two to positive six inches of static pressure. Ask which pressure classes come pre-set up. The construction estimating program should contain the capability to either enter shop fabrication data or the cost to purchase your rectangular duct from a fabrication shop if you don't have your own shop. Number five, HVAC piping construction standards. The database will contain different materials and methods for joining pipe and fittings together from soldered, brazed, welded, grooved, pressed, and push joints. Construction estimating software programs contain many different piping material types that can be combined in various size breaks, such as using copper up to two inch and carbon steel from two and a half inch and up, all set up under one system, such as chilled water, heating hot water, or condenser water. The question to ask is how many systems come preset up and which ones? If you use various other types of materials like polypro or press fit type fittings, be sure to ask if they are available in the database. Often, if they haven't been set up already, this will create extra time to implement the system for the type of materials you commonly use. Number six, plumbing construction standards. The mechanical estimating software will also have many piping materials that can be combined to comprise the required systems for plumbing, such as copper, cast iron, plastic, ABS, and others. The same questions apply here as for the HVAC piping construction standards above. Number seven, automatic generation of fittings, hangers, and joints. Forget about counting hangers, as the software will automatically provide hangers according to the hanger spacing set in the construction standards. All you need to do most often is to indicate what the upper attachment will be fastened to, such as concrete, wood, or steel beams. Another great feature is the automation of fittings and joints, including all the parts that comprise a joint. No more worrying about or having to remember what is required each time you make a fitting or joint connection. Once you're set up or confirmed that the database holds the correct information for the materials you use on your standard fittings and joints, 
The system will provide a hanger per the hanger schedule in the software and all the required components surrounding an elbow, T, joint, or connection without having you to tell the system where the fitting is or the parts needed. This makes for extremely fast takeoffs because there is no need to take off each individual fitting. Ask your mechanical estimating software vendor if this feature is available. Number eight, on-screen takeoff. On-screen capabilities allow you to do takeoffs directly from digital plans on your computer screen, reducing the time and cost of printing and manually marking paper copies. The on-screen digitizer supports a wide variety of popular CAD formats in addition to the following PDF, JPEG, TIFF, GIF, PNG, and many others. Check with your vendor to make sure the program accepts your file types. The program should allow real-time panning, zooming, and marking of very large CAD drawings while minimizing the impact on the computer's performance. On-screen takeoff have moved away from the use of digitizers or computerized tabletops. Number nine, specification swapping. Having this feature allows you to switch the specification of your takeoff with another specification type without having to input each item into the system over again. For instance, if you took off everything as being copper, then using this feature, you could just swap out the copper construction specification with any other specification like black iron, carbon steel, or some form of plastic. Number 10, mobile iPad. Some of these mechanical estimating software companies offer mobile applications that are compatible with their main program. This allows you to do a field takeoff and then import a file into the main estimating program back at the office. Ask about this feature and its cost and capabilities. They may integrate with Apple's iPad or an Android, be sure to ask. Number 11, comparing drawings. When you receive changes to the drawings that you have already done a takeoff on, this feature allows the software to compare the two drawings and highlight or indicate the differences. This saves time when addressing addendums and change orders. Number 12, accounting integration. Some construction estimating software programs have the capability to export data to various accounting software programs. This is useful if you want to save time in setting up a project for the construction department for labor and material tracking. Having the ability to export all the material and labor values from your estimating program broken down by zone, floor, or system type is a convenient and fast way to transition a successful project from estimating to operations quickly. It is important to make sure that your accounting software is on the estimating software's list of compatible programs if this is important for your company. It's possible also that the estimating software can export into Excel or a commonly used format like CSV or an ODBC compliant file. Number 13, scheduling integration. Again, another feature that can be useful if you want to export data into other programs, in this case, scheduling software like MS Project. This is another time-saving feature that is beneficial for those that provide construction project schedules in the various scheduling programs available. Number 14, networked, standalone, or cloud-based license. Licensing comes in various forms for the different methods of your company's IT setup and estimating accessibility requirements. If there is just one estimator, then the question comes down to whether you want the program to reside on a network server the cloud which is accessible from many locations or if the program will reside on your laptop or desktop and be accessible to just one person, a standalone version. Often with a network-based installation, it doesn't cost any more if you have one or ten estimators connected to the network software license because the cost is for the quantity of license, not the quantity of estimators, except with the Trimble subscription model which is based on one estimator per license, no sharing of the license access. A lot of the programs are now cloud-based, where most of the software resides on servers that are housed in some remote off-site facility. You'll have a license portal that will confirm you have a valid paid-for license before being granted access to the remote server. 
Number 15, shop fabrication integration. There are many construction estimating software programs that now integrate with shop fabrication equipment, especially for sheet metal. The program shares an integrated database that keeps consistency between the estimating and detailing departments and the sheet metal fabrication shop. The program would allow the estimating takeoff to be downloaded to the shop equipment for direct fabrication. In most cases, you would want this to come from your detailing department to make sure what you fabricate will fit in this space allocated on site. Ask your software vendor what fabrication equipment, if any, the program is compatible with. Now we'll discuss some other factors to consider when purchasing estimating software. Documentation. This is one area where you will find that some of them are lacking, as it takes considerable effort to put together and keep updated documentation on the functionality of the mechanical estimating software. Many vendors now have videos online and don't provide any written documentation. Be sure to ask about the type and amount of documentation available. Having the ability to refer to training videos or documentation is helpful when you want to learn more about the program's capabilities or just for troubleshooting a simple problem before calling technical support. Technical requirements. Be sure to verify that your current computer has the required specifications to handle the requirements of the construction estimating software program. With the increased functionality and graphics used with some of these programs, you want to make sure that your computer can keep up, especially if you are using a network license with many users in different locations. If using a network and you have users in different cities or locations, all using the same server to retrieve the estimating program, be sure you have the bandwidth to handle the data transfer required. Make sure to ask all the pertinent questions before purchasing any construction estimating software. The software vendor will have a technical requirement spec sheet for computers to meet. Implementation of the program. It takes considerable effort to get the program set up to match your company's way of doing business. Most programs come set up with the basic construction standards, but if yours differ, you'll need to spend time implementing changes to match your company's way of building projects. Whether you do sheet metal, HVAC piping, or plumbing, there are construction standards that can come prepackaged with most software programs. Often SMACNA standards or something similar for sheet metal fabrication will come preset and will need to be adjusted for any local code variances in joints, seams, gauges, or reinforcement. HVAC piping and plumbing will have copper, cast iron, no hub, plastic, carbon steel, and refrigeration piping already set up. But once again, you must confirm that it is the same as your company's construction standards and the local code authority. There is also the time required to enter pricing data for the sheet metal and piping plumbing discount multipliers. Make sure to allow time for implementation. My experience is that most construction estimating software vendors understate the amount of time it takes to implement their programs, so I would expect anywhere from two to eight weeks, depending on how many systems you need and how close your company's standards are to the boxed standards that come with the mechanical estimating software program. Estimator experience. Do you or your estimator have any experience using construction estimating software? Training will be required in the range of three to five days. Beyond this, you will need to invest time implementing and learning the nuances of the program to become efficient at takeoffs, including time to maintain the database. Anyone that has the basic understanding of computers will learn quickly how to do takeoffs, and someone who understands construction standards will be required as administrator for implementation and liaison with technical support staff. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.